Hi everybody, today we are back with the Let's Make a Game series. Um, I'm going to be making a game, obviously, in the Let's Make a Game series. Um, I'm going to be making a video on this every day. Like, I'm going to make this series daily, an episode of this series daily. Um, if I can, I should be able to. Um, before I started this video, I just made a very simple script. It doesn't have very much stuff in it yet, but, um, essentially, if I want to give a sword to a player, all I have to do is do give sword, and it will give so a sword to every player in the server. So, like, if I hop into the game, it will just give me a sword after a moment, I think. Oh wait, no, I need to make it wait for at least some time before doing it. I, I can't have it instant, but it, it sh it'll work when I, um, make it to work. So, um, like if I put a wait here, it will just, it should just give me a sword. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be confused, but. Do what? Uh, it will work now. If it doesn't work now, I'm gonna be confused. All right, see, it works now. This is the sword that we made the last time. Still don't have a model for it. Um, the white. Oh, there. Um, I'm gonna actually make something that just preloads all the animations for the game, just so that it doesn't like just act weird at first. So I'm gonna just go. Replicated first, uh, local script, uh, game, local player, no, character equals a game dot players dot local player, a coin get character from player um and then character dot humanoid wait let me just see if this works real fast just on its own um wait no character dot humanoid dot health equals character dot humanoid dot health minus one. Is get character from player even a thing? I've never used it, so I don't know. Um. Well, we'll just see if I have da Nope. All right, it doesn't work. And the reason for that is that the thing is not a function. Um, dot name dot equals game dot workspace find first child name dot players dot local player dot name. Now this should work. I thought get character from player might be a thing, but I don't know. Anyways. Does this work? Uh, uh, anyways. I guess that doesn't work. Duh. Wait for child, not find first child, I think. I think that's right. I don't know. I. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna just not preload the animations, I guess. Um. Oh, yeah, that works fine. Um, as you can see, my health is slightly lower than it normally is. So. 
that works. Now I just gotta load the animations. All right, this should work. And then the sword will actually, yep, the sword instantly works. So that tells me that this works. And at any time, if I want to add more animations, which I probably will, I can just pop them into there and then add a line of code. So that's good. I could make it like a loop that just does it for all the animations, but I feel I, I don't want to. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a loading GUI, I guess. Should I, should I do that? I don't know. I, I don't know. I might make that at some point, but I think we should actually start making the mini games work. So, I'm gonna open the mini game module, which is not a module script, but it should just run all the mini games. Um, I need to have it all laid out like this. I need the weight and whatever. But if I need to add more variables, I can. I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay. Um, 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 um. We're going to need a few GUIs, so before I do anything, I'm going to add some GUIs in. Also, I'm going to scoot the screen over so you can see the full screen with all the GUIs. So, start a GUI, add a screen GUI, um, and just call this, uh, I mean, GUIs. I guess that works. Anyways, I'm going to insert a few things, but what we needed to make was intermission countdown for right now. So, check label. Intermission countdown. I don't know how to spell intermission because yeah, never mind. I had it right before. Um, I'm gonna take the text label, move it. Why is this being laggy? All right. So the GUIs are not gonna look good. Um, at the end of the series, I'm gonna have my friend touch them up so they can actually look good. I know how to code GUIs, but I'm not good at like. I, I don't know. I'm not good at making them look good. I'm just make. I'm just able to code them. Um, so I'm gonna go. Text scaled is true. Um, background transparency is one. One. And that's good. Then I'm gonna just insert. Where is it? Um, where is the text? Um, uh, so in mission, and then I believe I'm going to just set this. T Actually, no, you know what? intermission I'm gonna just say intermission I'm not gonna have anything I'll put an intermission timer in a minute but for now I guess that's good um and I'm gonna call this uh, game label and essentially it'll just label what mini game is being played um so that's good. I believe changing the device that looks all right. Yep, changing the device it's still fine on pretty much all the devices that I've tried. Um, I don't know what one I normally set this to, but I guess it doesn't matter. 
Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter because I don't need to use it. But, anyways, I'm gonna real quick. So yeah, this is what this is gonna do is it's gonna label the game, and when a game starts, it will like have it the name of the game in the top of the screen. I'm gonna actually put this in a frame. Um, just cause it makes life easier. And then put the frame in the middle. Scale it. Scale it some more. Scale it even more. And put it in the middle again. And then this I can scale up inside of the frame. Um, make the frame itself invisible. And then I add another text label. Call this one um, game text. And I'm going to just line it. Make the background invisible again. Uh, text scaled and the text is going to be current minigame um, and then I'll move this up a bit I guess and I'll take the entire frame and move that up a the entire frame and move that or not I guess. Alright, that works. Um, I, I, have I even really done anything at this point? I, I'm gonna... So that's good. It'll say what the current minigame is. And then I'm gonna need, for each minigame, I'm gonna put in a timer. So, like, I'm gonna do integer value uh, and then call it game time uh, no uh, length of game of mini game and I'm gonna set this one to 120 seconds um so that should work. I mean, not yet, but like, that'll be helpful to have. And that way we can just make the mini games last for that amount of time. I'm gonna put a mini game timer. I guess. I don't know. What, why am I work focusing on GUIs right now? I need to focus on actually making the mini game. So, if I go back to the mini game module. Um function load sword am I gonna function load mini game and then um I'm gonna make it pick a mini game um local intermission equals true um add a value a bool value um add another script and I'm gonna just go in a mission manager I guess no wait why did I put that there and mission ma manager all right and then why did i delete that what am i doing what am i doing in mission manager and then
Do I need that? I don't need that. I'm not gonna use that. That's just gonna be a waste of space. Even though I have pretty much infinite space. I really need to just make it load the minigame. So... Function load minigame. Um, if in mission equals true is equal to true, then return end. And that essentially just um, cancels out the script if the intermission is true. So that's nice. Um, and then. Uh, why do I keep saying uh and not doing anything at all? Should I like, actually make stuff? Shouldn't I? Alright, so, um, my idea is that essentially what it's gonna do is it's just gonna load a minigame, right? Or in, in any of the minigames. So, for I. I believe it is I equal. Wait, I need to make a variable first. So local. And I already have the minigame variable. So for I, comma. I believe it is. Wait. Um, sorry, I'm just confusing myself. I can just go. Local. Random number equals math dot random one comma rot one. That's just for now. I'll make it different later. But if random number equals is equal to one, then uh. Uh, mini games dot sword fight mini game dot parent equals game dot workspace sword fight mini game dot oh wait no uh, mini games dot s dot sword fight fight mini game dot uh length of mini game um so wait there we go and then. Uh, mini games dot sword fight mini game dot parent equals sir equals mini games. All right, so essentially, every fifteen seconds it will load the game in, and and then it'll load out after the certain amount of time. So hopefully this works. Um, has it been 15 seconds? I don't know if it's been 15 seconds. Uh, is it not working? I do not know if it's working. I don't think it's working. Why? All right. Well, um, I think I'm gonna end the video. It's kind of getting long. But I before tomorrow's video starts, I will get this working, and I will also make the current mini game thing work, so that the video isn't just me trying to make it work. Um, I'm gonna also try to make the rest of the series more interesting, cause like the this one and the first one were kind of just I, I didn't really get very much done at all. 
but um I will hopefully see you in the next one. I I reckon yeah, um it'll come out tomorrow. Um they'll come out one every day. Um I will try to make tomorrow's much more interesting. I'm going to make all the mini games. I feel like making, well not all of them, but I'll make a few of them or at least one. I feel like making the module that loads the mini game is going to be really important to have. But I will just finish that um before tomorrow's episode so that we don't have to so you don't have to just watch me trying to figure it out and it's just and then I don't get it done and then I end the video. So um subscribe if you want to um if and if you and also if you want to know when the next one comes out. Um leave a like if you want to. Um comment if you want to. Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to just end the video. Uh bye.